the IMAX movie exists because these old epicontinental seas were something very unique and very interesting. Really as unique and interesting as the more famous dinosaur faunas that occurred on the land. And the best place in the whole world to study this type of ecology is in Kansas. And the most important collection of these animals from Kansas is Surprise in Kansas. The Sternberg Museum in Hayes, Kansas, and the University of Kansas Museum of Natural History have the greatest collections in the world of these animals. And if you're going to do a movie about them, we're the people you have to talk to. My name is uh, Larry Martin. I'm the curator of vertebrate paleontology in the Museum of Natural History. We have very important early collections. Some of our fossils that we have on display were the original ones mounted and became the basis for what people thought these animals looked like. The Zephactinus specimen we have was the first mounted Zephactinus in the world. During the Cretaceous, Kansas was covered by a shallow ocean. It'd be sort of similar to the Mediterranean today, but not as deep. The name that this uh, sea generally goes by is the Western Interior Sea and extends from the Arctic Circle to the Gulf of Mexico. This sea was full of giant reptiles, but these reptiles weren't dinosaurs. They were as big as dinosaurs, they were as ferocious as dinosaurs, but one of the most common ones, the mosasaurs, are actually gigantic lizards. The uh, University of Kansas Museum of Natural History has the largest and best collection of birds from this old seaway including the most and best specimens of Hesperornis. I consulted uh, with National Geographic on the appearance and the behavior of Hesperornis because I've been working on Hesperornis since uh, 1964. We can restore, and I have done this, restore the muscles on the basis of how they attach to the bones and thereby make a full body reconstruction of a Hesperornis. So we really know what these things look like and from that, we can tell quite a bit on how they could swim. One of the most exciting exhibits in our museum is the skeleton of a Tylosaurus that hangs above the entryway. Tylosaurs got up to uh, at least 50 feet in length, uh, which made them the, the largest predators in the late Cretaceous Sea. They really had nothing to fear except themselves. We have evidence that they had enormous territorial battles where they would grab each other by the front of the jaw and try to turn the other over. And in fact, the big one that we have on display has a healed wound from another Mosasaur the same size as it from just such a battle. Dragons and, and mythical monsters really did exist. These mythical monsters aren't mythical. They're real.